my name's uh, Kieran Trotman. I'm from Castledroy College in Limerick, and my project's called um, Zero Go Bag Can It Help Improve Poor Foster? Um, I'm in first year now, and I just noticed that school bags were much heavier than they had previously done in primary school. So I was subconsciously inventing something to combat that, and I heard about the young scientist, and I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to um, put in my project. Um, the bag works relatively simple. If you have six kilograms of books, you'd put three in the front and three in the back to balance your body off. And also the weight's actually closer to your body, so that it doesn't um, the weight's closer to your body, so it doesn't put as much strain on your fulcrum. Whereas a normal school bag, the weight's quite far away from your body, so that it doesn't it, that it puts a lot of strain on your back muscles. Um, with the ergo bag, um, I tested I tested um, using an electromyogram and photographs. And with the photographs, I found that you can carry 12 kilograms in the ergo bag. That would be 6 kilos in the front and 6 kilos in the back. And your posture is actually better than it would do with 2 kilograms in a standard backpack. And that reduces, uh, you stand much straighter with it. And that reduces the possibilities of lumbar spine pressure, and therefore your posture is better, so there's less chance of chronic back pain. For 12 kilograms in a standard backpack not to affect your posture, I would have to weigh more than 120 kilograms because the school bag isn't actually supposed to go above 10% of your body weight. Whereas with the ergo bag, I haven't actually done figures, but it improves your posture significantly. And I did um, something called the total inclination. And with the um, standard backpack, it goes up from 7 degrees from straight to 14 degrees from straight. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 kilos. And with the ergo bag, you can see it, it varies a lot. But that's just normal human variation because no one stands the same every time they stand. There's different muscle activity and the registered microvoltage is very difficult to read. And that brings us to the electromyogram. With the, um, the, with the ergo bag, it, goes, it inclines um, severely and that shows a heightened amount of muscle activity which shows more strain on the body. Whereas with the ergo bag, in the blue bars on the graph up here, um, it's varying constantly which shows again the normal human variation. Tre Trevor Sargent was at my stand on Wednesday and um, he said that he'd recommend the ergo bag to Paul Gogarty, which would be very good because Paul Gogarty is the um, um, education spokesperson for, um, in, for the Green Party. So that, that's very, very supportive for the project if there's political interest. It was absolutely brilliant. I've never been at anything like it and I'll definitely be entering for the next five or six years. The judges, um, their interest was brilliant and it really made me enjoy the um, exhibition and um, it just the, the support that I've gotten um, is absolutely brilliant. There's been a lot of media attention, political interest, which was um, brilliant and um, the judges loved the project, which was very, very, very good.